Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. Let's get started. Hi, my crafty fam. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. In today's video, I practice pouring and see if I can finally create lacing. I'll be using pre-mixed pouring paints by Artessa. I prepped the canvas by placing four push pins on each corner. And I'll be using my hollow clay roller to blow the paint around. And I still don't have a torch, so this lighter will have to do. This time, I'm going to add a squirt of silicone in each color, except the black, which will be the base. I covered the entire canvas. I poured each color from the darkest to the brightest. I never thought to use these colors together until I tried them on one of my hydro dips and it looked amazing. I've been using it on other techniques ever since. Using my hollow clay rolling pin, I blew on it and it created some incredible cells. I add more paint and continue to play with it until I'm satisfied.
This piece came out beautiful. I love it. The more I play with this technique, the better I get. If you guys haven't tried it yet, please try. It is so much fun and so relaxing. I was only going to do one, but as I said before, it's so hard to stop once you get going. I would play with paint all day if I could. So I decided to use the same colors and try a swipe to create lacing. I still haven't gotten it right. And once again, I messed up. <laughs> I think I let the paper towel lay on the paint too much, but at least I can see way more lacing this time around. If you're wondering what I did differently, I added silicone to the white paint as well. I lightened up on the second half, and as you can see, it finally worked. I'm not a fan of the design it was creating, but the fact that I finally created lacing was good enough for me. I decided to tilt it to see what it would create, and I'm happy I did. That's pretty funky, and I love it. It reminds me of a reptile skin. And now that I figured out a way to decoupage onto dark backgrounds easily, I think I might add something to this piece. And here they are, all dried and sealed with Mod Podge gloss. I love how these came out. I got beautiful cells, the color combos are vibrant and work so well together, and although I didn't create the swipe piece with the lacing that I wanted, I still succeeded in creating the lacing itself. And I was still able to save it with a tilt. I also learned you can't put them under a fan to dry. I finally create a piece I'm over the moon about, and of course, I ruined it. The one time I don't want cracks. <laughs> I'm starting to understand this technique a little more and I can't wait to try the lacing again. I'm still working on my big project and will hopefully be able to share that soon. I'm super excited about it. I hope you enjoyed this video in the meantime and that it inspired you to try it yourself. Just as long as you remember to have fun, be creative and make a mess. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the black light. Check this out. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up as it helps the growth of the channel and to show your support. If you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.